Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I am going to show you on how to make a high horsepower piston engine and scrap mechanic. So before I get started, it is recommended to watch the other tutorial I made for making a piston engine. So if you haven't watched it, I recommend watching it before you watch this video. So now let's get started. Now first we're gonna have to place a block. It doesn't matter it doesn't matter what block it is. Just any block from this block category. Now, um, you're gonna need uh, the blueprint editor for this because we're going to need the uh, zeroth block. We're gonna make a zeroth block. So, yeah, a blueprint editor is a must. So, yeah. And also, the mod pack continuation, you're gonna need that for our dino testing. So yeah, and also a zero with block uh, viewer, and and that's pretty much it. And about the mod pack continuation, um, you're gonna need you're gonna only need it for uh for the dyno, which is the uh, which is the mod pack dyno, which is this one by kind of under. So yeah. So about this block here, the reason why I put it here, you're gonna wanna need to. Uh, uh, use the blueprint editor and then left click it. Now here you're gonna wanna click on the negative Y. Now if it if this block moves to your right, you're basically gonna have to face on the direction where it moved. It doesn't ma matter where it is, if it's on the left, you're gonna, you, just, you just have to face on where it, where it moves. If it goes here, just face on where it moves. Just like that. So we're gonna so we're gonna make the uh, engine. Uh, by facing this way only. Now this is important. So, so please listen. So let's start off by making three, three blocks. Now at first glance, why people are going to be wondering why am I doing this instead of the pipes? Because we are going to be making a zeroth block crankshaft. Well, the reason for that is to make less collisions as much as possible. So we can make it uh, very efficient. So yeah. Um, now let's use our blueprint editor. Make sure that's uh, painted, of course, like that. Make sure, make sure that you paint it together, all three here, just together. And make sure that the X says three. All right. Now for the Y here, make it zero. And. And thanks to the Zeroth Block viewer, we can able to see this. Now, keep in mind that this is fully vanilla, alright? Um, the only thing that you can able to see this is from the zero with Block viewer. Um, the Zeroth Block viewer is technically vanilla because uh, the Zeroth Block is actually vanilla. And Zeroth Block is pretty much a bug or a glitch. I don't know, whatever you call it. It's just like that, yeah. Now don't forget to put screws because zeroth block will have zero weight, weight, and zero weight will. Um, I guess uh, the game doesn't like zero weight, so you technically need this screw right here. And if I take off this screw, this zero weight block will pretty much go crazy on the ground, just like that. Yeah, it's quite funny, isn't it? So, um, oh no, don't. Um, all right, let's just make a new one anyway. Um, I'm sorry. <coughs> so once I put a screw here, it won't go crazy anymore, and it just stays in like that. Doesn't matter. It will just stay like that. All right. So now let's put some pistons here and. Place it on the side, doesn't matter which side, and let's press, uh, in my case, let's put it on the right side, and then let's press plus X, and make sure it is on the middle. Now, just like that. So now, let's keep doing the same thing. Uh, let's keep making four of these, and don't forget about the screws, because if you forget about it, well, the engines will just pretty much explode, and you, will, you won't be able to recover it. Alright, Y0, put the screws, just do it again, plus 3, 
and then this is pretty much the last one and then we put a pipe and then let's put a berry and so we are done with our crankshaft but we're not done yet don't forget to set the piston values and the x-axis B is supposed to be set at negative 3 so you're gonna need the blueprint editor again now once you take it off the lift make sure that it looks like this um, well this one is now pretty much really solid and I mean really solid now don't put some bearings here yet, we're, we are not gonna put some of those yet, because first of all we're gonna need our timing wheel, alright, now let's do not forget to uh, paint him and pretty much enable the color modes, because if you don't put color mode, well I guess it will detect weird shit, so yeah, now let's put on our timing plates, just like that, make it white, and then also I forgot to mention that um, if you stretch your pistons on a piston engine, it would make a lot of power. So we are going to be making a stretch linkage for this V8 piston engine. For the one last time, we are gonna use another zero with lock. All right. Now let's put some bearings finally. Finally, put some bearings. So, right. I know you've been waiting for this. And don't put some pipe first, because we're gonna have to do this first. So let's put a bearing. Put a put a bearing this way, and then like that, uh, like that, and like that, and uh, and then another bearing, another another bearing facing up, and another bearing like that, another bearing facing that way. And then for the one last time, don't forget another bearing. Of course, as usual, there's going to be a lot of bearing activity going on here. So, keep that in mind. So, if your PC is bad, I guess you can't really make your e your engine because uh, apparently input lag will just jam the piston engine. And input lag will also uh, disable the sensors, so I guess it's less reliable. So this is going to be our linkage, it's going to stretch the pistons, um, which is going to make it more efficient. So let's connect these bearings to the uh, controller, and don't connect this to the controller by the way, just don't forget about that. And let's keep putting those, now you may be wondering why am I not placing the pistons yet, and that's because it's the last thing that we're gonna have to do besides the timing. Now let's put some, some of the pistons here. Now, Dennis, why are you putting these pistons? It's like one block short. Well, yeah, they are one block short. But technically, you can just glitch weld them into the into the pipes. So basically, you just put it here and then plus Z. Just click on plus Z. And then, just like that. Voila. You don't need screws. So like that so only then we can put the pipes like that and do not forget about the uh, piston value otherwise uh, you have failed life I'm just kidding so uh, yeah let's do the same thing on the other side as well Now we have the one last thing to do and that is timing. <clears throat> now before we do the timing, let's just, let's just adjust our linkage. Um, for our linkage, it's about 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 is going to be our timing. Yeah, so for the 1, 2, 3, 4, not 5, we're gonna have to, oh, we're gonna have to make it 45. All of them, 40. Five for the one, two, three, and four. Now, if it looks like the, like this, just uh, click on two and then three, just like that, and make sure it looks like this. Oh, I forgot about the uh, pipes. At least here. 
And make sure it looks like this. Nothing is uh, stretching, I guess. Nothing is stretching outwards or inwards. So um, we go we're gonna use the same timing as our uh, as our V8 on the uh, other tutorial I made. So yeah, one, two, three, and then four. And then just mirror it on the I mean not mirror, but let's do it on the other side. And just like that. Now, once if I take this off the lift, the engine will just explode. So it is recommended to put a a bunch of blocks, and I mean a bunch, of them, just so it will not explode. So now only then we can just weld it to the ground. And that's. Now let's put some switch here. Connected to the controller. Um, for now, the engine is stopped, and then I guess we, we can just put uh, 180 timing, and then it'll spin. All right, that seems nice. Um, yeah, let's, let's not forget to put a uh, pipe here, and our engine is finished. Like that, it's uh, 300 RPM, but we don't know how much horsepower it makes. So. <clears throat> Let's put on the mud pack dyno. Um, okay, this dyno needs some pass through. Uh, pass through. Alright, it just needs some pass through. Alright, it needs pass through. So it can uh, reduce errors, I guess. And that's. And then let's connect the engine to this thing here. Oh, I forgot. Um, this engine needs connection to the uh, dyno itself. So let's make that. Put it that. And do not forget to load that. Alright. Uh, let's make this. And again. And let's weld it. And let's just uh, weld this to the ground once again. That's now let's power our piston engine, and yeah, I guess it makes good 300 RPM. Now let's measure it. All right, okay, it's struggling. Well, that's going to be your first run on the dyno, it's going to make terrible numbers. But let's deactivate that and let the engine reverse. Make sure that the engine will reverse. Alright, so let's do it again, shall we? Now, this is we, where we are going to see the actual numbers. And boom, as you guys can see, it makes nearly 220 horsepower. Now, let's see the peak power. Now, for our peak power, it made 216 horsepower. So, I guess you're satisfied now, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video, and goodbye.